What is up guys, George Mason here today, I'm back, I've got a new video for you, in this video- Hold on a minute, why are you still wearing that? What do you mean? It's because I'm England till I die, I'm England till I die, I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm England till I die, Yeah, but England till I die, I'm England till I die, I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm England till I die. Yeah, but they're out of the World Cup now. What? No, they're not, everyone knows, it's coming home. It's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home. Just watch this. Pitch for Vasalko, aimed in beyond Manduke. Uh, no. Perisic, Manduke! No, no. It's the England team that's coming home on Sunday. No. Hey, that's my phone. What are you doing? It's not coming home. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I don't want to wear this t-shirt anymore. Just get, go away. Get out of here, man. Get out of here, oh man. gosh, this is a family friendly channel. Put a t-shirt on. All I wanted was to see England win the World Cup, you know, but we just couldn't even do that. So I guess it's not coming home after all, but you know what is coming home? Your GCSE results, or your A-level results, or your university results. Some kind of exam results are coming home soon, unless you don't go and collect them, which is what I'm gonna be talking about today. And essentially how if you don't go and pick up your results, you can't actually fail. But just before we start, guys, this week's squad shout goes to Roxy Rock. Thank you so, so much, Roxy, for being in the squad. If you'd like to be shouted out in next week's video, all you have to do is leave a comment down below, saying in the squad and what social media platforms you follow me on. Make sure you subscribe, and make sure you've got post notifications on. And I'll pick one person from the comments to be next week's squad shout out. But yeah, guys, that's very let's get straight on with the video. But just before we start, if you don't like the video, you'll fail your exams this summer. So make sure you like the video. Okay, so as I said, I've never been to a single results day in my life. I didn't go to pick up my GCSE results. I didn't pick up my AS level results and I didn't pick up my A level results. Now the reason I never went to a single results day was always because I was on holiday. So I physically couldn't go because I was literally in a different country. So the first thing is getting your GCSE results is very different to getting your A level results. Because when you get your GCSE results, you have to still stay in some kind of education, whether it's sixth form, whether it's going to college, Legally, you have to stay in some form of education, even if it's once or twice a week. So when it came to the GCSE results and my AS results, which are like the first year sixth form that they used to do, I had to get someone to go and get my results for me. So they could then enroll me into sixth form and then into the next year of sixth form. Because as I said, I legally had to be in education still. So yeah, I never went to get my GCSEs or my ASs. My nan got them for me. And trust me, if you think results day is bad, imagine your nan getting your results for you. And then having to wait for her to go and get them results and then phone you and tell you you failed. It just makes results day just that little bit more stressful. Yeah, man, I got my GCSEs and my AS results, and while she was at the school getting my results, she then enrolled me into the next year. Somehow I managed to get into the next year, don't ask me how. However, this is where it gets juicy, by the way. This wasn't clickbait, this is actually like a legit story. So, when it came to A-levels, obviously I didn't have to enrol in anything in school, because A, I didn't go to university, so I didn't have to enrol in that. To be honest, I didn't really know what I was doing, I was planning on getting an apprenticeship. But once again, I was on holiday on results day for A-levels as well. But for the two previous results days when I was on holiday, I was on holiday with my family in Spain. However, this time, when I finished my A-levels, I went on like a lad's holiday. Lads, lads, lads. I went to the Greek island Zanti. So there was like 12 of us there for results day. And after the two previous years of the stress of my nan getting my results and telling me them, I decided not to tell her to get my results and I didn't tell anyone to get them. But to be fair, most of my friends that were on holiday also didn't get their parents or their nans to go and get their results just because they didn't want it to ruin their holiday and be like, yeah, hello, George, you failed. Have a good holiday. So instead they were like, yeah, when we get back, we'll just go to the school and get our results. So I was like, yeah, cool, sounds good. Those were all the friends that weren't going to uni and the friends that were going to uni all got their results on like the website, UCAS, whatever it is, I don't know, I didn't apply for uni. I mean, the rest of my friends were all like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a good time the rest of the holiday, and then when we get back, we're gonna get our results. I never did. So when we got back from the Zanti holiday, I had like one day in England, and then I went to Spain the next day. So in that one day I had three, I should have gone and got my results, but I didn't. So I then went on my second holiday with my family, and we went to Spain for like four weeks again. And in the back of my head, I was like, oh, I should have got my results that one free day. But then whilst I was in Spain, I was like, no, I'll be fine. When I get back, they would have posted it to me because I'm gonna pick them up. So yeah, I enjoyed the rest of my holiday in Spain, and then came back in like the first of September. Let me tell you, on the flight home, I was so scared because I knew coming home, my results were going to come through the post and I was going to get home with everyone there and I was going to have to open it in front of everyone. But lucky for me, they didn't get posted to me. It's now been like over a month since results day and I still haven't got my results. So at this point, I was kind of shocked they didn't send them to me through the post. I just expected if you didn't show up, they'd send them to you. So at this point, I'd officially finished school and I was now looking for like apprenticeship, which guess what you need for apprenticeships? You need A-level results. However, I didn't have any. Well, I had some, but I just didn't know what they were. So the logical thing to do in my shoes would be to go to the school 
school as soon as you can to get your A-level results so you can then apply for jobs and then get a job. But me being me, I, I didn't do that. I didn't go and get my results. I was just hoping that they'd eventually send them to me. Spoiler alert, they don't. So at this point, I was applying for jobs and apprenticeships and just lying about my results. Well, I mean, I wasn't lying, but I was making up what I thought I got. And the funny thing about this was, obviously, I didn't know what I got in my A-levels and I'm not like a liar, so I didn't want to lie to people. So when people who were in my class would message me like, oh, George, what'd you get in art? I'd be like, um, I, I don't know. I didn't get my results. And they'd be like, ah, of course you didn't. What did you actually get? Did you do really bad? And I'm like, no, I didn't get my results. And they're like, yeah, you didn't get your results. <laughs> what did you actually get? No, come on, George, tell me. I won't lie. And I'm like, no, I didn't get my results. I don't know. I even got to the point where my auntie was like to me, George, what did you get in your A-level results? And I was like, oh, I haven't picked them up yet. And she was like, oh, you haven't picked them up yet. And I was like, no, not yet. And she's like, oh, yeah, you haven't picked them up yet. Wink, wink. Like, literally got to the point where it was more embarrassing to say I hadn't picked them up than it would be to say I got a bad result. I could just say, yeah, I failed all my exams. And they'd be like, oh, oh, well. But when you say, oh, I haven't picked them up yet, that's just more embarrassing. But yeah, anyway, it got to like October and none of my apprenticeships came through. And the kind of like job applying season starts in like May and ends in like October. So if you haven't really got an apprenticeship then, you've got to kind of wait till the next year to apply again. So I was just at home and my dad was like, okay, you've got to come work for me. So obviously I didn't need to show any proof of <laughs> proof of my A-level results to work with my dad. So I worked for my dad for like a year and still didn't pick up my results. There's now been like a full year since results day and the people that are the year below me are getting their results and I still haven't got mine. However, at this point I decided I didn't want to do an apprenticeship and I wanted to do YouTube. So I carried on working with my dad for a few months whilst I did YouTube. And again, with YouTube, if you don't need proof of A-level results, luckily. Oh, and also, I forgot, whilst that year I was working with my dad, I emailed the school multiple times, literally multiple times, asking them, can you send me my results? Can you send me my results? And they just didn't reply. But I literally put it off for so long that in my brain, I just felt like I couldn't go and do it. And the way I was looking at it was like, in my brain, I was like, look, if you don't pick up your results, technically, you can't fail. I mean, it kind of is the same thing as saying, like, if you don't check your bank account, you can't be broke. Technically, you are broke, or technically, you have failed, but you just don't know about it. <laughs> and in the meantime, the school did not contact me at all. They didn't phone me, they didn't email me, they didn't contact my parents, be like, yeah, we've got George's results here, he still hasn't picked them up. It's been a year. So now fast forward to January 2018. It's been two and a half years since results day. Two and a half years. My sister that's two years younger than me, she got her A-level results in August 2017. She got her A-level results before me. I'm two years older. Yeah, she actually picked hers up. And then in January 2018, she went to the school to get her certificate. Because you get your results in like August and your certificates don't actually come through to like January. And while she was there, she also picked up my A-level certificates, which I have me right here. I believe it or not, it has my address on it. It has my house number, address, postcode. Why did they just not send it to me? All they needed was a stamp. So these were sitting in the school for two years. Two years. Now these are actually like the A-level certificates saying I passed. Not sure where the results are. Still haven't got them. Like, you know when you get the list where it says the subjects and what grade you got. Still haven't got one of them. I imagine it's probably still in the school at like the bottom of some filing cabinet somewhere. Living on strong. And to be fair, they weren't as bad as I thought. I got CDD, which I know is not great, but the effort I put in sixth form was not great either. <laughs> but yeah, that's a story about how I never collected my A-level results for two and a half years. I'm not gonna lie, I personally wouldn't recommend doing it, especially if you actually want to get a job or go to university. I mean, I mean, you probably shouldn't do this. But yeah, after two and a half years of wondering what I actually got, it was nice to finally get some closure and to know that I didn't completely fail them. And that's a good luck to anyone that's getting their results this summer. I recommend you turn up to results day. If you guys have any interesting stories about results day, tell me down below. And if you like more story time sort of videos, make sure you tell me down below in the comments. Yeah, if any of you are wondering what happens when you don't pick up your results, this is what happens. Yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed, make sure you like the video. As I said earlier, guys, if you don't like the video, you're going to fail your exam. So like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Post notifications on. And also, guys, if you don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram right here. I'm literally so active on Instagram. I'm always liking back your guys' photos. So if you'd like me to like some of your photos, all you have to do is leave a comment on my most recent photo. Yeah, guys, it's been George Mace TV. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.